Jay's Life Out Loud on YouTube. Subscribe, share, and hit that like button. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I am Jay. This is Jay's Life Out Loud, or a channel about nothing, but it's about something. A channel that is about nothing, but it's about something. So today, what's on my mind is that help is not on the way. So many things in life we need help with. So many things in life that we would like, a, like to accomplish. And we see people that have accomplished those goals or uh, they may be halfway there. Or, you know, you there are people in certain areas of your life that you look at and you see, wow, you know, they made it. I've been trying to do the same thing or I just started. And I would love the help. I would love to pick their brain. And one thing that I've learned is most people that make it to where they are, they are too, too either too busy to mentor somebody else coming up, too big headed or too tired. It may be some other reasons, but Help is not on the way. You can have somebody that you follow on YouTube. You've been, uh, uh, you know, always following them and showing them love. And you reach out and uh, they'll be like, that's going to cost you. $40, $50, $100 just for information. And as you may see them as being a light or something special within the universe through all the doom and gloom, they looking at you like you just another subscriber or you just somebody else trying to pick their brain or you on some BS or whatever the case may be. So you can't take it personal. But most of us will. But help is not on the way. You got a situation that you're dealing with in your life. You may want to lose some weight, gain some weight, put some muscle on, and you know somebody that's already in good shape or whatever. And you talk to them, and they like, yeah. Blah, 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 this and that or whatever. They ain't got time to be having you at around and they rotate they um workout sessions and all that. And you get to feel some type of way. But it's up to you to uh I mean it's a lot of information out here to be found, and it's it's up to you to do your research and what it's gonna take to get you there. I remember it was a lady that I watched from Detroit that I watched on, uh, followed on Instagram all the time. Always liked her posts. Always left a good, you know, not, you know, leave a good comment here and there. And um, she was selling dinners. And I remember, excuse me, when she first started. She was selling dinners out of her car. She would have put her post up in the morning what she was uh, making, what she was selling. And people would put place their order and she would drop them off. She went from uh, she went from doing that out of her car to having a food truck. And I remember reaching out to her and asking her, you know, what process did she go to, blah, 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 whatever. You know, how does she get, the, you know, how does she, what's the best way to get the food truck, blah, blah, blah. And the reply, I had left some air in here, y'all. That's how the, if the sun is out, but it's still cold. But she replied to me, pray on it. And I was like, 
what the f pray on it. and maybe to her that meant something but to me at the moment it seemed like I ain't got time to explain it all though you pray on it you know she prayed and blah 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 and that was it so okay you move on but in life I'll give you another example any of those that any of those of you that watch the channel on a regular you know that I want to move to Africa I want to give me some land build me a house and work the land that means vegetables fruits natural medications, you know, uh, herbal medication, uh, as far as, you know, plants with health benefits, that type of stuff. So when you go to watch YouTubers that are already over on the continent of Africa, now if you don't go watch their videos, go back and watch videos after video after video and try to find the questions that's that you have in your mind or if they've never talked about it but you want to know a lot of times your comments will get overlooked or to be questions they say well email me this this and that or whatever emails get overlooked but I notice what a lot of them are doing now is they want you to pay for a consultation and at first I'm like wow you know you move over the continent and you own this a lot of you are uh, a lot of uh, youtubers that are already in Africa you're preaching this unity and this, this, and that, and blah, blah, blah. And then when the people want to know because they are watching you, either because they want to come and they're trying to figure out how to get there, or then they know they won't be able to come, but they want to live vicariously through you. So I thought that was like kind of cold. And then I thought about it from their point of view. I'm a small child, right? So I got like, less than 430 followers. So you take somebody that got, let's say 20, 30,000, 50, 70,000. Can you imagine, cause I don't get a lot of questions on, on my YouTube or in my e uh, email, but I can only imagine after a while, imagine if the main question was, how much is gas? And you answered this question 7,000 7, times out of 70,000, 7,000 times out of 700,000 people on your, that's watching. After a while, you'd be like, either you're gonna do a video about it, you like, look, it's taking up too much of my time, uh, hitting everybody back, and blah 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 then I understood too I understand too if I'm over in the continent and I'm I'm trying to make money and support myself not only by the YouTube channel and I'm giving you knowledge why shouldn't I be in re reimburse a reimburse for my knowledge so $40 for a consultation. Some charge 60. Uh, I've heard, even heard uh, one guy say he was charging $400 an hour. That's a little bit steep for my pockets. That's just for me. But to you, depending on the information that you wanna know, it could be priceless. So you would pay any amount. So when I say help is on the way, 
nobody will be your mother or your grandmother or your father that will sit down and help you with your homework, which is your dream. Nobody is going to, it's a rarity. I'm not gonna say nobody, because I know it's people out there. 99.9% .9 of the folks, don't y'all hate when people be doing that, but 99.9% .9 of the folks are not gonna baby you. They not gonna coddle you. They not gonna let you, uh, excuse me, for a better term, suck off their nipple. You gonna pay for the information you need. Write down all your questions before you set up a consultation. Come on now, the light ain't getting no green. And uh, you gonna have to go from there. Because a lot of times when you don't know something, the best thing is to do is to pay for the knowledge. If you if you don't know something and you can't find it, you're gonna have to pay for it, for sure. You know, if, if you don't know how to, let's say you don't know how to uh, start an LLC, you're gonna have to pay somebody that I already know. Unless you got a friend or somebody like that that's done it before and they can walk you through it or you know, text you the information on what to do. Help is not on the way. On your weight loss journey, you have to push yourself. Even though it would be so nice and great and grand and beautiful if somebody was there to have your back and, 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 and egg you on and, you know, be a hype man, a hype person and like, hey, keep it going you can do it come on we're gonna do it together it would be nice because most of us that's working out or trying to lose weight we can't even get our partners to join in because your they, your agenda ain't their agenda when it comes to that or they may not feel they they don't they don't mind having a little extra weight So a lot of times help is not on the way. You got to push yourself. You got to motivate yourself. You got to go get you a notebook, write down your, your goals and aspirations. And you got to, you have to work towards them yourself. Help is not on the way. If you get help and you find that person that'll hold your hand or uh, walk with you a little bit and get you to point A to point B or point C or all the way to the goal line. That is a blessing if you have somebody around you right now that is pushing you like that and is there for you and say, hey, you know that paperwork you needed? Uh, what I did was I went online and I printed out the paperwork. I filled out everything. All you got to do is sign your name. Your LLC is started. You know, you out there, you trying to get the yard front yard done. You planting flowers and doing this and you want to beautify your house. And you got that one neighbor, he said, you know what? Don't do it like that, you doing it the hard way. I got this tool, I'm gonna to come over and I'm gonna show you how to use it. And he end up, or she end up doing the whole thing or half of it or doing it with you. That's a blessing. If you are following a YouTuber and you know this YouTuber has a lot of followers or is a busy person, because uh, you don't have to have a lot of followers to be busy. And anytime you inbox them, anytime that you leave a message, they respond, they got a helping hand, they'll tell you, I'll make a video on that just because you asked. Because if you want to know, I'm pretty sure it's some other people that want to know. That's a blessing. Because nine times out of 10, help is not on the way. You are going to be your biggest helper in anything you do. Because in the meantime and in between time, everybody else it's going to be looking for that dollar. And in these trying times, how can you blame them? 
because nine times out of ten, they had to pay their way to get where they was at. They had to struggle, fight, and whatever else to get where they at. And a lot of times I want to tell y'all when I'm doing these videos, these videos to me are a way of self therapy, doing my own therapy, getting what's on my mind recorded. And then I'm sharing it with y'all in hopes that it helps somebody else, let somebody else know that they are not alone. Somebody else is feeling what they feeling. Y'all, I need to put my cooler in the car. This weather is starting to change, slowly but surely. Just trying to put the cooler in the car. The small hibachi grill. And the, uh, my two cheers. At least one of them. That way, when I get ready to go down by the water, or whatever I plan to do, my stuff is all the way. That's my summer kit, y'all. And then I got to put them fishing poles in there definitely got to get my license doing me some fishing this year i ain't the, i ain't gonna lie i ain't the best best fisherman by far but uh yeah y'all help is not on the way as a youtuber <clears throat> even with me like I have people that will share my videos. Shout out to uh, Gigi. Shout out to Stacy from Hands in the Dirt. Shout out to uh, Juicing with Jay. And when somebody does that, they're sharing your video with a whole nother audience that may have may not have ever seen your content or come in contact with you. And that's a blessing, even the, the small things. I was in the grocery store and an older gentleman, black gentleman came up behind me and I was getting some rotisserie chicken and I seen he had some and I thought he had the same, you know, the full chicken like I did. And uh, he said, oh no, I got the uh, the roasted pieces. Like, you know, it was a meal, like the leg, thigh, all that or whatever. I said, okay, I said, the only reason I said something because I know she had just put some, the lady had put some uh, fresh hot ones out. She had just pulled off the uh, rotisserie. So he said, yeah, we got to talk. And I said, yeah, I'm, you know, trying to watch out my blood pressure because my blood pressure been kind of high and they got me on medication. I'm trying to lose some weight and I don't, you know, I don't want to be on medication for the rest of my life. So he said, yeah, you know, all you can do is, you know, drink a lot of water. You drink a lot of water. I said, yeah. He said, you know, you drink a lot of water and uh, make sure you do a lot of praying and talking to God. And I said, yeah, I do. I said, I don't think I would make it. I know I wouldn't make it without him. He says, uh, yeah. Uh, and, you know, get as much, you know, exercise as you can. I do a lot of walking. I said, oh, that's good. So, yeah, I'm just getting back into going to the gym and, you know, trying to work out at home. He says, how old are you? I say, 48. He said, you know how old I am? I say, how old are you? He say, 75. I say, wow. He say, yeah, and I've been married for 50 years. And, I, and you know, that's a blessing. 75 years old, uh, married for 50 years. He wasn't moving slow. He wasn't talking slow. He wasn't, you know... And it's an older black guy in front of me. He said, hey, man, without the Lord, that's what a lot of these young people need. And we both, you know, all three of us stood, you know, stood there in agreement. And um, the lady rung up my rotisserie chicken and it came with some uh, rice for free. And the gentleman behind me politely paid for my stuff. And I know the feeling because I do that a lot myself. And it's that the blessings that God has given you, you want to pass them on to somebody else. You want your overflow to flow over to others. 
And not only is your overflow flowing on over to others, you are now planting another seed that you can sit back and wait for the harvest. So I'm telling y'all, if you want to be the difference between help not being on the way and help being on the way, be the one to encourage somebody. Be the one that will be willing to be that one that, as they say, each one teach one. Be willing to share the information that you have learned on your journey in life. Don't let your lesson only be for you because the lessons that you went through, the hard times, the tribulations, the ups and downs and everything else, you can save somebody else the heartache, the pain, the frustrations. Because at the end of the day, there's somebody that's looking up to you or want to be where you want to be. So when that person asks you a question, really think, am I selfish enough or stingy enough where I'm saying I don't want to help nobody and I don't want nobody to get where I'm going. Don't be one of those people that feel like I'm on a, I'm I'm where I want to be. And if anybody asks me, I ain't telling them cuz that's going to be competition. Which is to me is the weirdest in the world. Because if a man is across millions of miles i'm in michigan you in florida and i asked you a question and you don't respond but i know you saw my my email or whatever because it shows it's almost like spitting in somebody's face but yet and still you want somebody to clap for you So me, I'm willing to help with no issue because I always think about when I need help or when I need answers, who do I have to look for? And those people that are around to answer the questions and have no issue with it, I appreciate them. You know, I thank the uh, most high for them. So, even when it comes to gardening, I don't know it all, but I know enough to make sure that when I plant that seed or plant that flower that I'm going to get a harvest. Did I learn it myself? No. When I was growing up, somebody taught me, and that was my grandmother. So it is only right that I share it with as many people as possible. Just like I'm hoping that this video will be shared with as many people as possible. And on the other side, before I end this video, if you are a lazy person, if you're not going to go out and try to find the information, if you're not going to go out and try to do something, if you're not going to go out and try to learn something, if you're not going to go out and try to plant a seed just to see if you can do it, don't expect that help is on the way. Much love, y'all.